I will shed one tear for Stack Overflow because I grew up with it. But now that I know how they're behaving towards their users lately, that's the last tear I'll be shedding for them. Not even real. So we all kind of guess that Stack Overflow is going down. And you can kind of see this trend. Stack Overflow's ChatGPT casualty, traffic down 14%. Stack Overflow traffic drops as developers turn to AI coding assistance. Developers are ditching Stack Overflow. Here's a nice little illustration of what's happening with GitHub versus Stack Overflow. That's zoomed in from this chart right here. <laughs> well, you can see GitHub is orange and chat.openai is blue. Now, if you haven't heard, in the last couple of days, Stack Overflow made a deal with OpenAI. Wait a minute, what? What? A deal with OpenAI? What's this deal for? Well, it's funny you should ask. Here is a post on Stack Overflow's website. Stack Overflow and OpenAI partner to strengthen the world's most popular large language models. Who's got the most popular large language models? Well, OpenAI does. So Stack Overflow partners with them to make their models stronger? Why? Well, they're saying it's a two-way street, but I see it a little bit differently. And this is just my opinion here. OpenAI will utilize Stack Overflow's Overflow API product to improve model performance for developers who use their products. How does this help OpenAI? Well, it's supposed to improve its AI models using enhanced content and feedback from Stack Overflow community. Okay, the feedback is a good thing. How does this help Stack Overflow? Stack Overflow will utilize OpenAI models as part of their development of Overflow AI. But if we read between the lines here, this is a move by Stack Stack Overflow as a last desperate attempt to survive. If you recall, on December 5th, 2022, I posted this video. This was just after ChatGPT started showing some promise when it comes to coding results. People started using it just then, and Stack Overflow temporarily banned ChatGPT for answers, for questions. Well, what about that policy now? Here it is. One year, five months ago, but it was changed. Now it's not temporary anymore. Now the policy is that ChatGPT or generative AI is banned. All use of generative AI, ChatGPT and other LLMs is banned when posting content to Stack Overflow. So Stack Overflow wants only real content from real people like you. Does Stack Overflow pay anybody for that? No, they don't. Did OpenAI already train their models on Stack Overflow's data? Probably. Stack Overflow's site is public. All the questions and answers are public. And OpenAI is known to have trained their models, their most powerful models, on all public internet stuff, including Stack Overflow stuff. This was done a long time ago, before the question even came up. And now it's not public whether OpenAI is going to pay Stack Overflow for using their data, but for about a year now, Stack Overflow has been charging AI giants for training data. And I'm sure that OpenAI is on that list. OpenAI, Google, and other companies build large-scale AI projects have traditionally paid nothing for much of their training data, scraping it from the web, including Stack Overflow. But Stack Overflow plans to begin charging them for this. Can you imagine the phone call last week between Prashant, the CEO of Stack Overflow, and Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI? How did that phone call even go? Hello. Hi, Sam. It's great to hear you. I trust you've been finding everything you need on Stack Overflow these days. What can I do for you, Prashant? Uh, well, you know how you guys are getting sued <laughs> for training on other people's public data? Duplicate question, Prashant. Move on. <clears throat> How about that small financial contribution for using our data? You mean actually paying for the data that we trained on? Precisely. It's like this. You make billions with your AI and our community feeds it. Time to talk numbers, Sam. Send me your terms, Prashant. Let's see if the numbers work for both of us. That's all I needed to hear, Sam. Thanks. Now, the only reason that I think OpenAI is doing this is just to play nice because there's so many companies after them for scraping their data and suing them. Stack Overflow is not yet one of those companies. You know, OpenAI probably wants to keep things nice and civil, do some kind of agreement with them, even though they don't need Stack Overflow. They already have Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is the desperate one here. And this brings me back to their money grab. There may be some kind of undisclosed, under the table deal going on with OpenAI and Stack Overflow to avoid any kind of lawsuit. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. But besides that, Stack Overflow is gonna be charging AI companies to train on their data, yet they're banning people from using AI answers and questions because they want fresh new data, fresh new ideas from people that they don't pay, people like you and me. Not only is this showing that Stack Overflow is on its way out and almost done faster than we think, but they're also pulling us all under the bus with them, which frankly 
is kind of a shitty move. What are they gonna tell everybody? Maybe we'll see a post like this on their website. Dear Stack Overflow loyal users, thanks for helping us train OpenAI's billion dollar LLMs. See you later. Meanwhile, Prashant is probably packing his bag to go on his yacht. Not a real article, but it could be. Maybe a year, maybe two, or maybe it's going to work. And maybe people are gonna return to Stack Overflow somehow miraculously because their AI is somehow better than OpenAI's AI. I don't know. What do you think? Is this going to work? I think there's technologies that have been good for certain times and then they get replaced. So where are real software developers gonna hang out? I don't know, you tell me. If you wanna catch up, check out this video I did on Stack Overflow banning ChatGPT right over here, and I'll see you in the next one.